Hello friends and colleagues, today's video is all about Health and Care Professions Council registration. What is HCPC? Who needs to know about it? What does it do? And why is it important? If you have ever thought of working as a physio or other allied health professional in UK, you must have heard about HCPC. Health and Care Professions Council is a multi-professional health and care regulating body that provides license to practice to professionals who qualify their standards of proficiency. The aim of HCPC is to protect the public. They achieve this by regulating the registration of professionals through a standard of education and continuous development. To work as an allied healthcare professional in the UK, it is a legal requirement to be registered by the Health and Care Professions Council. After completing your degree in your relevant profession, you can apply to HCPC as a UK or an international applicant. The entire application process is now done online on the HCPC website and it comprised of filling information in the six steps. This HCPC application involves an online form comprising of six sections. To sum it up briefly, you need to provide your personal information, details of your education, work and language proficiency. You are required to fill in the form and attach all the attested documents asking for along this application. Online application form. Our next video will be all about step-by-step -step tutorial on how to fill and submit the application online, so stay tuned. Personal details and proof of address. You must have some kind of document that can confirm your personal details and your proof of address. A valid passport, a bank statement along with utility bills generally serves this purpose. Then comes the course information form. The information provided should include details of the course content, the number of theoretical and practical hours for each module or subject, and the assessment methods used. This information may be taken from a syllabus but must only include parts of the course which you studied. The course information form must bear the stamp or seal of the university or training institution and include contact details for the course administrator who may be contacted as part of the verification process. Detailed curriculum. It is recommended to attach the detailed curriculum along with course information form so that the assessors can always refer to the additional details if they need to refer any. Degrees, transcripts, credit hours and clinical hours certificate. Attach them as a proof that you have completed your studies along with all the mandatory clinical and war trainings and you can practice your profession safe and sound. Evidence of research. If you have completed any research as part of your professional degree or independently, don't forget to document and attach it in your application. Professional references from employer. You should provide as much detail as possible to meet the HCPC standards of proficiency. The information should be provided in chronological order with your most recent experience first. And remember, only include professional contact details of your manager or supervisor. HCPC doesn't accept private postal or email addresses. Professional registration and membership. In this section, you need to tell HCPC about your registration or membership with any association, regulatory body or similar organization in your home country. English language proficiency. You must declare whether English is your first language or not. Having studied English or undertaken education in an institution where mode of instruction was in English doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that your first language was English. And if English wasn't your first language, you must provide a proof of your English language proficiency. As per HCPC, the acceptable IELTS band score is overall 7 band with no module less than 6.5 and for speech and language pathologists the overall band score is 8 with no module less than 7.5. After you have completed your application and made all your declarations you will be required to submit your application with a one-time application or scrutiny fee of £540. This application submission can have four outcomes. Number one, successful. Congratulations, your application has been successful. Number two, further information request. 
based on the information provided along with your application, if they are unable to reach any decision, they might request you to provide them with further information in support of your application. The third outcome could be the test of competence. If after reviewing your application, they still believe that there are certain deficiencies in your application and you are unable to meet the scope and standards of practice, you may be invited to undertake a test of competence. And the fourth one and the most rare one outcome could be that your application has been declared unsuccessful, but there are very, very less chances that this outcome could ever happen. Now, if your application is successful, you will be informed about it in an email requesting you to pay the registration fee. After this, you will be enrolled on the HCPC register and this registration will last for two years. After this, you will have to renew your registration. The calendar year for HCPC ends on the 30th of April each year. I hope this video has made your understanding about HCPC and the entire application process clearer. In our upcoming video, we will be sharing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to submit the application online. So if you are interested in that, do subscribe to our channel and stay updated. Until then, if you have any queries regarding what we have discussed today, or any kind of feedback, or you want us to cover any topic of your interest, do let us know in the comments. Until then, take care. See you next time. Bye.